Well, the Yukon Huskies did it. 2014 NCAA March Madness National Championships. Champions, sorry, the Yukon Huskies. Um, incredible run, one of the best runs I've probably ever seen. Uh, a great run by Kentucky as well. Um, honestly, UConn having to, they almost, they, they should have lost their first game, to be completely honest. They clo- you know, a game that they got in overtime against St. Joe's. But if you look at the run that UConn made, they beat the 8th Atlantic 10 champion, tournament champion St. Joseph's. In the second round, they beat the number two seed in the Big East champion Villanova. Sweet 16, they beat the Big 12 champion Iowa State. Elite 8 beat the Big 10 champion Michigan State. Final 4 beat the SEC and number 1 overall seed Florida. And then in the championship game played the NBA prospect, um, you know, full of NBA prospect Kentucky team. who was the hottest team in the nation, beat them. So they beat almost, they beat every team they played was a league champion. And then they played the hottest team with the seven NBA prospects in Kentucky. So to beat five conference champions in Kentucky, I'd say that's a great run, a really great run. I think this will be a run that will be remembered for a while. Um, I think the difference in the championship game was I just think Shabazz Napier and Ryan Boatwright are, you know, world-class, going to be NBA players. Um, I just think they're, they get up in you. It doesn't matter about their size. It's about the, you know, about their heart. And they got up inside the Harrisons, deed them up like they did every other game, shut down Wilbekin. Uh, to held him Wilbekin to four points. Uh, UConn and DeAndre Daniels didn't even have that big of a game. DeAndre Daniels, uh, the small forward for the UConn, who had 20 points, 10 rebounds against Florida, he didn't really even have a huge game. But uh, Guffey, the, the big white uh, German guy for UConn, hit two big threes. Um, and then Shabazz Napier hit a bunch of big shots, and uh, Boatwright hit a bunch of big shots, and. That's the reason the UConn national champion is the highest seed to ever win the national championship, a seventh seed. Um, or I don't know if the highest seed to ever win one, but uh, Kevin Ollie, I just think, you know, he had, he had this. He has, if you just watch any of his interviews, any of his post-game uh, interviews, uh, he just he talks with a, a belief and a motivation that's going to move anyone, especially players who are out there going to war for him, and he's out there going to war for his players. Uh, salute Kevin Ollie. And the best part of it all, I won. You, I had on, I had a bet on UConn to win the championship, seventy-five to one odds. Placed back in February, uh, I placed a hundred-dollar side bet on with a buddy. Ended up cashing in on eight hundred and sixty dollars on UConn Huskies to win the championship. Eight, so I'm a, I'm a happy man. UConn Huskies, congrats, Kevin Ollie, Shabazz Napier, Ryan Boatwright. Uh, what a run! What a run! And thank you for the seven. Or well. We're now at $860. Thank you very much, UConn Huskies, the 2014 national champions. Cheers.